Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss, back again with another video. And today we're gonna do the real review of the Google Nexus 7 HD. Now, real quick, when I say real review, I'm not trying to say that other people's reviews are fake and mine is real, no. What I mean by real review is, I'm a real consumer, I bought this tablet with my own money, so I'm gonna give y'all my real unbiased opinion. That's all I mean by real review, all right? So I'm not trying to knock nobody else. This is just my real opinion, all right? So without beating around the bush, on a scale of 1 to 10, if you see my unboxing video, I gave this a 9 straight out the box, and I'm going to stick with my original rating, all right? This tablet is a definite go. I'm giving it a solid 9. Now, keep in mind, fellas, for the price, $250, you can't beat that, all right? You can't get a better tablet on the market right now for this price, so, as usual now, if you've seen any of my other real reviews, I always like to talk about everything I don't like first, and then we'll get into everything I do like. So, now there's a couple of things about this tablet that I'm not really feeling too much, so let's uh, talk about them real quick. First off, no micro SD card. Now, is that a big deal? No, because um, I got a lot of cloud storage, I got Google+, Plus, got Google Music. You know, a, a lot of things that I use right now is in the cloud, so you don't really need that. But if you're a dude like me that got eight other tablets and a whole bunch of other phones and a whole bunch of old devices and I got about 10 memory cards laying around it's nice to be able to just pop your SD card and have a whole bunch of music take it out pop the next one in, have a whole bunch of videos whatever that's a nice little feature to have you don't got that on the Nexus 7 but it's gonna come back to this $250 after tax you know you can't beat that so no micro SD card is that a real big deal no just something that I would have liked to have seen next the camera now, fellas, and look, when I say fellas, I mean ladies too, okay? When I say fellas, that just means everybody. So, fellas, the camera on this is definitely not that good. All right, the front-facing camera, you got 1.2 megapixel in the front, you got 5 megapixel in the back. Now, it's better than having no camera at all, but the camera on this is, how can I say this? Trash. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you're taking pictures outside on a bright, sunny day, yeah, then you might be able to get a decent picture, you know, good enough to post to Facebook, good enough to put on Instagram or whatever, but if you're inside in low light, don't even attempt to use this to take pictures. So, if you got a phone on you or you got a regular camera, definitely use that. I'm definitely not going to advise you to take this to your daughter's graduation, you know what I'm saying? Don't take this to your man's wedding and try to take a whole bunch of photos and all that. It's not going to work. Definitely not going to work. Now, like I said, now, if you're at a barbecue and it's a bright, sunny day, yeah, you might be able to get a good picture. If you're on the train and something just happened to pop off right there and you happen to be using your tablet, yeah, it's good enough. You know what I'm saying? It's good enough, but don't buy this thinking that you're getting some kind of great camera. There's no flash, so it's only good for outside and bright lights. Okay? So that's another thing. I'm not really feeling the camera. But if you have the original Nexus, you have no camera at all. So this is a step up. I take a 5 megapixel camera, that's kind of trash, as opposed to no camera at all. And uh, last but not least, one thing that I don't like about this is the speakers. Now keep in mind it's dual speakers, which is still a step up from the first one. But the speakers on this, they don't sound that loud. They actually sound kind of weak. Now if you're a dude like me, a lot of times when I'm using my tablet, I'm using it while I'm in the bed watching TV, Say I'm watching uh, VH1 Basketball Wives or something. When the commercial comes on, I like to hit up the Twitter. I like to hit up the YouTube videos and see what's going on. If you got your TV on and you got a nice surround system or whatever, or your TV's just up at a nice volume, you're not going to really be able to hear the tablet too much. And one thing I can't stand about tablets that do this is put the speakers on the back. I cannot stand the speakers on the back. because if you Now, if you're at work and you don't have a nice dock, you're going to have the tablet on the table like this. That's automatically covering up the speakers. So when you're playing videos and all that, you're going to notice the speakers are a little bit muffled. If you're holding the tablet like this, naturally, by the way the, uh, by the, way the speakers are placed, you're going to be covering them with your palms. So you're going to have to get used to holding the tablet like this if you want the optimum sound, or you're going to have to hold it like this. But most of the time, I find myself holding it like this, especially if you're playing games and all that and you're covering up the sound. So that's one thing I don't like is the speakers on the back and the sound quality of the speakers is not that great. But like I said, it's a step up from the first Nexus that only has one set of speakers. At least now you have two sets. 
and of course now this is a stock video right now I'm about to root it and I'll put the Beats Audio software in it I did that on my man's Nexus the same one like this and when you root it and you put the Beats Audio software it definitely helps out the sound a little bit now it's not going to help too much with the external speakers but it's going to help a lot when you plug your head some, when you plug your headphones in then it helps a lot so I'll do that in a separate video once I root it I'll add some other stuff to it and all that but we're talking about stock right now for people who not into rooting tablets and all that stock the speakers ain't that great so that's a couple of things about the tablet I'm not feeling now let's talk about everything that I am feeling which is a lot of things first off the price $229 plus tax for the 16 gig version like I said fellas you can't get a better tablet on the market for that price right now trust me even if you get a Galaxy Tab 3 or if you happen to get a used uh, Galaxy uh, Tab 2 a used one if you got it for 250 this one is still better I this one the processor is just better it's all around smooth lag free the price on this is a definite win all right this is a perfect utility tablet and I'll talk about that in a few minutes next the build quality now you can see it's kind of a fingerprint magnet on the back no big deal but it also has that corner gorilla glass on the front now I don't know if you can see this but um I dropped this tablet let me wipe off some of these fingerprints real quick I just dropped this tablet actually about 10 minutes ago I had it in my my uh, book bag and I forgot to close the book bag and I came out the house and my tablet fell on the floor and a bunch of rocks and all of that but no scratches alright so the build quality on this has that nice rubber feel to it nice solid grip the build quality is, is, is a definite win now I've been taking this tablet to the gym been taking it outside in front of the crib taking it in the car when I get in the car throw it on the front seat y'all see how I be driving I hit the brakes boom tablet fall on the floor pick it back up throw it back on the front seat no problems at all this tablet is quality build, nice and sturdy. So I'm definitely feeling the build quality on this. Perfect for taking to the gym, perfect for leaving at the office. And like I said, for $250, this is a tablet that you could leave at work. You know, and if and, and what, you know, hopefully you got a bunch of uh, you know, decent coworkers, but if somebody happened to steal it from you and all that, it ain't the biggest deal in the world because you only paid $250 for it. So this is a tablet that you you could leave in the gym in your locker, you could leave it at work, leave it in the car. You know, not the biggest deal. So I'm definitely feeling the build quality. Next, the processor. Now you got a 1.5 gigahertz quad core processor. What does that mean to the layman? That means that this tablet is super fast. No lag at all. All right, now I've been using this tablet, like I said, for about two weeks, longer than I normally use products before I do my real review, but um, I can't get it to lag. Now if you can see, I got a whole bunch of different apps open at once. No lag at all. Everything on this tablet runs smooth. So the process on this is a definite win. Now keep in mind it's running stock Android, so there's no UI to add any extra lag to it, which is a good thing and a bad thing. Now some people, they might say that this tablet is a little bit boring. You know, I've seen a couple of other videos, some people say this tablet is kind of boring because there's no UI on it. But for Android veterans, you know, sometimes you want that stock Android experience. That's why a lot of times people have an HTC One, people have a Galaxy S4, a Note, or whatever they want to root it and they want to make it a stock Android device because you, sometimes you don't need all that UI overlay to add any extra lag and you know extra cheesy animations and all that sometimes you don't need that sometimes you just want a stock Android experience so now if you get in this tablet and you really want to put it to work like you're using it for a productivity tablet stock Android is perfect on it because you don't want that extra lab who cares you don't need too many animations and all that you get beautiful widgets you get your weather animations and all of that you know there's aftermarket apps you could get but um everything is just going to be stock so you got all your stock notifications all your stock settings and just keep the tablet running nice and smooth so the process on this is a definite win next web browsing now where i'm at right now i don't got no internet connection but um Trust me, fellas, we're not going to get into quadrant scores and all that because nobody really cares about that. All you really want to know is when you open up your Facebook, how long does it take to open up your, to load up your, your home page? When you upload a picture to Instagram, how long does it take to upload it? You know, when you go on a website, how long does it take to load up that website? Does the pinch to zoom work? Everything works silky smooth on this. Silky smooth. Now, you can see I had a couple of, I was looking at games, so I'm trying to get some video games and all that. The pinch to zoom works great no lag all the websites work fine so web browsing is the same as any tablet I got right now the same as my Galaxy Notes same as my other Nexus same as any tablet 
No reason to even get into, you know, too deep with the web browsing experience. Let's just say the web browsing experience is a go. Everything works fine on it. You got your YouTube. You know, like I said, everything works great. So web browsing is a win. So if you're getting this tablet and you want to be online all day, trust me, you're not going to have a problem browsing on the web. Next, the display. Now, you already heard me say this in the unboxing video. This tablet has the best display out of any tablet I got right now, pretty much out of any tablet on the market. The display on this tablet is so beautiful. I mean, you, I don't know if the video is going to do it justice, but the blacks on it just look extra black. All the colors look extra bright and crispy. The resolution on this is off the charts. This is the best display. And fellas, like I said, $250 after tax, you can't beat that. Right? You can't beat that. So when I'm up in the gym and I'm watching videos or, or you know, I'm surfing the web and all that, this is a win. Best display on the market. Next. Let's talk about the battery real quick. Now, I've been using this heavy, heavy, heavy. All right? There's many times I'm in the crib and I go to reach for my Note 8.0, which is my favorite tablet. And I say, you know what? Now, I'm going to just keep rocking out with the Nexus because I want to give an honest, honest video. So, I've been using my Nexus hardcore. And I can say, with heavy use, like when I did it on a Saturday, I'm off on Saturday, so I'm chilling in the crib, using the heavy. I got about seven hours of heavy use. And that's watching YouTube videos while playing music in the back. Hitting the Twitter up, hitting the Instagram, hitting the um, <laughs> hitting everything. You know, hitting the path up, hitting the Vox up. Using it all day long, I got about seven hours before I had to put it back on the charger. So that means if you're not using it heavy, heavy like that, you ain't going to have a problem getting through a full work day with this. All right, so that means if you take the train to work, you can rock it for your, you know, hour-long train ride or whatever. You can use it at work here and there. Use it all your, your whole lunch break and use it all the way back home and then use it when you get back to the crib and you're still going to have battery left. So the battery on this is a go. I don't have no problems with the battery. Next, we already mentioned um, the Gorilla Glass. You see no scratches on there. Dropped it a bunch of times. So Gorilla Glass. Remember we said we was going to touch that in the unboxing video? So, I mean, I didn't take a key to it and, and, and scratch it up and all that, but just the natural drops, just the natural bumping around in my gym bag and the natural, you know, falling off of the treadmill and all that. So far, no scratches, so the Gorilla Glass is a definite go. So I'm feeling that. Next, wireless charging. Now, you can see, you can see it has the ports already for the wireless charging. Somewhere on here. <laughs> but you got the, you got the, um... You got the, it has the wireless charging capabilities built in. Now, I ain't going to blow this company name up yet, but I ordered a wireless charger. Still didn't get it yet. We're going to give them a little bit more time before we got to put them on blast. But um, it has the wireless charging capabilities built in. So now when I get that wireless charger, you could drop this right on there and wirelessly charge it. That's a nice feature right there. All right, so I'm, I'm digging that. I can't really talk about that too much because I don't got the charger yet. But once I get that, I'll make a little separate video on that. But just having that option... Is the good look next gaming let's check out some of the games let's see how the games run on this with this processor you're not gonna have a problem playing some of your favorite games let's check out a temple run 2 another thing you see this tablet works in landscape portrait you know doesn't matter so that's a good look let me throw the sound up so you can hear it for yourself all right so we got a little temple run 2 going on You're not going to have a problem playing with this. Like, like I said, the process is nice and fast. Now, I'm not the greatest at temper run, so bear with me. But I'll just try to get a few swipes so you can see that it runs nice and smooth. No lag. No freezing up. Now, my daughter, she's, she, she's nice in this. She, she, I could have got her to do the video for this part, but um, whatever. You see for yourself. The gaming on this works pretty good. Let's see what else I got on here. Temple Run looks good. You got Fruit Ninja. I mean, no reason for me to get into all of these games. All of the games work. You got the 1.5 gigahertz quad-core processor, so you're not going to have no problems loading it up and all that. So if you like to play Angry Birds on the train or you're playing Temple Run or you're playing some of your driving games. Matter of fact, let me see. I do got one game. I'll give you all a, a little preview of a game that has a little bit more stuff going on. That's this uh, drifting game. Now, I suck at this game, too. I only played it about twice, so bear with me. But let's see if we could get it to load up and see if we could get it to rock out. All 
All right, let's try that again. As you can see, look how much stuff I got open and stuff running at the same time. Now, I don't know what's up with this game. Let me see. Let me look closely and see do I have anything else that has a little bit more stuff on it. Let's try lane splitter. All right, this one is loading up. Let's try some lane splitter. This is a cool game for y'all to check out too if y'all never heard of this. Check out lane splitter. And it's perfect for the Nexus. <laughs> so all you basically got to do, drive the motorcycle. You can do wheelies. Just try not to crash. Collect the coins. Now they updated, they updated this game since when it first came out. So it's a little bit more interesting. Because I don't know if y'all remember before there was no coins. But you crash, you fall off the bike. <laughs> so it's a cool game. So gaming on this tablet is a definite go. So overall, fellas and ladies, like I said, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm giving this tablet a solid 9. This is the perfect utility tablet. And what I mean by utility tablet, perfect for taking to the gym, perfect for throwing in your back pocket and taking it to work with you. You know, you can scratch it up, ding it up, drop it up. Not a big deal if you break it because you only paid $200 and change for it. You know, you're not going to see me dropping my Galaxy Note 8 up in the gym, dropping it off the treadmill and all that because it has a, it has a, a more fragile build quality to it and it costs almost $500. So now this one right here, I paid $200 and change for it, almost $250. Nice build quality, nice Gorilla Glass, fits in the hand great. The 7 inches, you know, everybody says it should have been 7.5, maybe even 8 inches, but I like the way it fits solid right in one hand. Now, I got big hands, but even on, I, I see like even smaller people, even my girl, when she rock us, she uses it with one hand. So, you know, whatever. All in all, I would definitely recommend this tablet to anybody. And especially if you want to get a tablet for a kid to go back to school or whatever, this is the one you want to get. Save your money. Don't get the big Galaxy Note. You know, two, don't get the um, the Galaxy Note 10 point, what is it, 10.1? That one's going to run you $500 and change or something, one drop and it's over. So, that you know, tablets like that, you got to keep in a case all the time. My Note my Note 8.0, you got to keep this in a case. Kind of feels fragile. Tablet like this, no case necessary, even though I'm, I'm going to do some case videos for it anyway. But um, this is a perfect all-around tablet. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's a solid 9. You heard it right, solid 9. All right, now I'm going to root it. I'm going to throw some other um, software on there. Throw the beat software on it. You see I already got the Groove IP. We'll talk about that in, when I do that root video. Show you how to use it as a phone and all of that. This is a perfect overall tablet. I have no problems with this tablet at all. All right, got no problems recommending this tablet to anybody. Shout out to everybody that rock with me on Facebook, Foursquare, Twitter, Google+. Shout out to all the Google gangsters. I see y'all holding down that Facebook page. Shout out to everybody hitting me up on Voxer and Path. And a special shout out to everybody rocking with me on Instagram. Y'all know that's where we be at full time, 100%. It's your boy Floss. I'm going to catch up with y'all on the next trip. All y'all haters, all y'all trolls, go eat a dick. It's your boy Floss. I'm out.